We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times, and in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And it's great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Iceman, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Norris, Leclerc, Vettel, Albon, and Sergio Perez, Kvyat, Stroll, Pierre Gasly, and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Kevin Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean, Ocon, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. Hopefully this uh, episode and this race, this Grand Prix, actually uh, goes better than our last episodes. Um, today we're at the Belgian Grand Prix in Spa, good old Spa. Uh, we're going to go uh, eight on softs and 14 on mediums. I mean, those mediums might be a bit of a stretch, but as long as we can... Uh, oh, that's what we got. Should we do medium? Should we do... Uh, let's do this. So yeah, Sergio, I don't want to do hards. Hards will be nice, they'll be softer tire. I mean, harder tire. But this should be fine. Medium should be good. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive right into Spa. Okay, so let's see. It is going to be quite a narrow field, I believe. Look at that inside line. All that turbulent air though, those bumps, Lewis pulled away so fast. Oh, there's a yellow flag already, somebody's out. Uh, Sergio Perez? Maybe? I don't know. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking, reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. Drop your ah. speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. I wonder who who was out. You gotta watch the safety car Delta. Looks like it was one of the racing point cars. This thing on lean. Save us some fuel.
overtake and burn some of this energy. make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. A new strategy is available on the MFD. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. Confirm. Okay, copy that. Okay, pitting time. Now I think we're gonna come out right before Bottas, maybe or after Daniel Ricardo. Uh, hopefully we can come out before Ricardo and before Bottas as well. We go, should go be down. able to. Yeah. Can we pit? Can we come out before Lewis Hamilton? Maybe because usually it's what 23 seconds in the pit lane. So oh, this is gonna be really tight. Pit strategy complete. He's gonna be, he's gonna be, I'm gonna be coming right behind him. Oh, right now, right in front of. Use ERS. I'll use our overtake. Did our undercut strategy work? I mean, our our overcut strategy work or not? I need to turn it overtake, eh? No, no. Am I getting passes that easy, Louis? Oh man, yeah, because Lewis undercut. 
us by two laps, and then uh, Modass undercuts by one lap. So I think Lewis tried to go for the really big undercut strategy. Then Bottas, I guess it's kind of like their backup car anyway, so... I think with the safety car, it kind of helped with me being able to run rich for the two laps that he was actually, that he was actually pitting. Uh, that he undercut us for, so... Because I was ahead of him by what, like... Six tenths, maybe? seconds. Use that overtakes that he doesn't get too close to us while he does have the arrest back there. Now next lap for sure he won't have the arrest with us. I'm just surprised Spa has only one place that has an overtake spot for DRS. Getting those corners down pad here in sector two. That could end up real bad. In the grass, hitting the dirt there. Or the, the sand. Some information on Grosjean. They're retiring from the race. Okay, the safety car is out. The safety car is out. We need to form up at a reduced pace. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. Oh, and a safety car. So Grosjean's out. And safety car just came out. We have just three laps to go. So I'm going on lean, saving my tires. Not looking where I'm going. There's four laps of fuel remaining. There's Grosjean, he's out. Here's the safety car. Get out of here, Lewis. I'm gonna brake check you. Like you brake checked Sebastian Vettel and Baku that one day. We're coming up to the safety car now. Do not pass it. You are the leader. Follow the safety car. Save all this fuel so I can run rich for those uh, maybe two laps we'll have left. This is this just made it an even more interesting race. I was gonna win this quite easily here. Lewis's undercut failed him by about six tenths of a second, and then I spent that six tenths of a second to oh just about three seconds. Uh, three second gap. So then, uh, Norris, I guess he has a couple issues, but he has power issues in his car. 
Uh, but he's still stayed with us, which is good and stayed in fifth place. And then uh, Daniel Ricardo retired. Must have had engine troubles or something must have happened to his car. Um, then right next lap after that, Grosjean retired and safety for car had to come out. Okay, the safety car is coming in this lap. We'll be pacing the field in sector three. Make sure to respect the delta until the safety car is in the pit lane. I don't know what the delta is. Are a little bit cold. Rich overtake. Let's just burn that energy. We only have two laps to make this count. Got to hold Lewis Hamilton off. There's oh, three laps of fuel remaining. a little bit of a gap there. No, 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 Lewis, you're not getting by me. Sorry, bud. You have to go. I will, I'll break you in every corner if I have to. You're not taking this Grand Prix away from me, man. We are, Jeff. We are. Don't worry. As long as our engine survives on my lap, we are golden. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Our tires are getting there. Got to really watch the output. Our engine's getting yellow. Oh, always good. I'm just running rich for the rest of the lap. Got to watch those curbs. Those inside curves are the worst. They throw the bounce off the car so fast. I think we can call it. I think we've got another Grand Prix first place. And this is definitely one of my favorite tracks. Uh, definitely have to be. This is more favorite to me than it is than Monza is. Uh, it's a very fun and fast track. And if you get it right, it's actually it's a lot of fun, a lot of sweeping corners. Yeah, that's how we do it. Woo woo! First place. Won the Grand Prix. Oh man, what a start. What a start and finish. Driver, they asked him on Alcon. What happened? 
how many positions do he move up? What a race. A difficult race then on one of the all-time classic circuits, but they persevered to take the win here today. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? Yeah. It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Both safety cars. Drivers are too. on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race. The first McLaren safety car definitely sure. helped me. And, no doubt be and the safety car, the second safety car helped Lewis and Valtteri, but not sure they didn't recharge the car fast enough or what, but I just I was able to save enough fuel and put the power down. Oh yeah, first place. Let's have a quick look at how the driver standings have changed. Not the result our points leader wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Esteban Ocon. He's just so gifted at getting Esteban. the most out of his oh, wow. tires, 19th and he showed that today. 10th. Let's move on to the constructors. Very well done. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races Standings. lined up, be sure to join us when we come back. So we have Valtteri Lewis. I'm still 85 points behind Lewis. Uh, yeah, well, this will be a tough season for sure. Um, Verstappen's catching up slowly to us. Um, yes. And constructors, we have... Oh, yes, we're second. Oh, we're pretty far back from... Uh, I can't see us winning constructors for sure. Drivers, maybe. But very unlikely. So let's go through these interview questions here. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. It doesn't get much better than a win at this track, does it? Uh, it doesn't. Great seeing our max work off. It's stuff in your car, but sometimes this one, but this one can take it. Yeah, definitely, that's true. Durability. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? Uh, that would that would be telling. There's no secret. It's just uh, the best driver on the track. That's no secret. <laughs> uh, great team. You performed better than last weekend. What changed? Yes. Uh, what changed? Uh, small improvements or reliability. A few tweaks. Uh, we haven't invested heavily into our power unit though it hasn't come through yet so I think this yeah let's put that down because now we're getting to power unit sections coming through so I think they work really hard together so no one can fault their effort uh, yeah not sure what happened to Danny Ricardo well, that's but everything. Unfortunately, he did not have a good race. Plus five, plus two. Ooh, he's definitely won our rivalry breakdown for sure. 29, 27 oh, by two. Damn it. Oh, there's still one race remaining. Okay. So I got to... Oh. He's still going to win, I think. That's where we're going to be tied, but I think he's going to win. Because he's got to get one point. got to get three. So if he doesn't qualify next episode, then we still have a chance. But either way, that was a great race. Great Grand Prix. The next episode is going to be at the Italian Grand Prix. I'm assuming this is going to be at Monza. So without further ado, you know, we'll see you guys next time. If you have liked this uh, this episode, you're liking these, more of these episodes, let me know. Comment below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.